Hello everyone, today I thought I would take you along with me as I shop for essential foods from Japan over at United Noodles in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I was ecstatic to find that Minneapolis has a pretty decent Asian market and even more ecstatic to see the abundance of Japanese products that they stock. We live about one and a half hours away so we make each trip count and stock up on a lot of Japanese goodies. I tend to buy the same types of foods, which are mostly things that complement steamed white rice, like nori, this amazing crunchy garlic spicy topping, natto, which is a fermented soybean with an acquired taste, and umeboshi, which is a sour plum. As for actual meals, I tend to pick up the same things as well. This ramen section is amazing and you have so much to choose from. I love this certain brand of tonkotsu ramen, which is from Sapporo Ichiban, and it works great as a backup meal in case I get too lazy to cook. The noodles are top notch and the broth tastes so creamy and is just my absolute favorite. While not particularly hard to find in a regular grocery chain like Cub Foods or Walmart, I love the curry selection over here at United Noodles. They sell these mega packs of golden curry and all of the spice levels and I just buy like a handful of the amakuchi or the mild flavor. That way my daughter can enjoy the curry rice and if we wanted to we could always add in the hot sauce to make it to the spice level that we desire. I like that you can find some rarer ingredients like konnyaku which is like a gelatinized yam, kamaboko which is fish cake, and the natto and umeboshi that I mentioned earlier. With some of these ingredients, I plan to make a very special dish my grandmother used to make called konnyaku soup. I am planning on doing a video on that in the future if all goes well. And last but not least, we cannot leave without grabbing some sweets. I pick up a few Japanese style breads to eat for breakfast and by the way, I think United Noodles expanded their bread selection so I was super excited to see a bigger variety. United Noodles also carries the Koala March chocolates which is one of my favorite chocolates growing up in Japan and I was also surprised to see that they carry the chocolate banana flavor so it was pretty nice to see other flavors other than the basic ones that you usually see like the chocolate and strawberry. So that concludes our shopping haul over at United Noodles. If you are in the general Minneapolis, Twin Cities area, definitely do go check it out. While I do miss Japan and homemade Japanese meals almost every day while I'm in the US, I am happy and very lucky to have a grocery store that stocks so many legitimate Japanese foods and ingredients. Before you go, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading every other Wednesday and be on the lookout for some videos on the meals I'll be making from this grocery haul. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!